Why? Hey, that, that beautiful beast. Is that a mountain deer? <laughs> what a treat. Thank you. Last time I tried to ride one of those, it tossed me off quicker than you can say stop. That's a wild animal. What an adorable beastie. That cute nose. Those sweet eyes. Oh, dear, I nearly lost myself. Please take this. Cha-ching. <laughs> one more thing. Here's one pony point for your trouble. Nice. Save up those points for all kinds of prizes. <laughs> Took care of horses my whole life, but there are still surprises out there. Guess there's a lot more to the world than what's in front of your face. If I want to learn everything I can about horses, and I do, guess I'll have to stick around a long, long time. Okay, and that's his quest complete. Yeah. Hey there, how about your travels? Mm. Every travel has to contend with monsters now and again. I hear that visiting the Great Fairy may help with that. Ah. Word is she can use her power to make your clothes tougher as armor. Say there's one on the outskirt hill, wonder if she'd help. The road crumbled, so my horse can't make it. But that's okay, I think a horse is blessing enough without needing a great fairy's clothes, blessings on top. Ah! Okie doke. So, welcome back everybody. Ross here with more Tears of the Kingdom. So, yeah, I upgraded some of my stuff with the fairy. That's why I was over here. I thought, hey, now that I have a piece of clothing armor with stealth up, let's see if I can get one of those deers and show the old man. And I could. Although I still totally only got that deer because it ran into a tree and seemed to get stuck. But anyways, as for my plans this time around, I mentioned it a bit last episode, and I think it's going to be what I'm doing. I want to try and make my butt to Hatano Village. To see if Link's house is still intact. And to see if, um, words. If the equipment mounts are still in that house and I can use them to preserve some of this legendary gear instead of just breaking it. Because this stuff is cool. I got that at plus two, so it's got decent defense. Now I need the other dragon's parts. I still need... Well, here we go again. Good day, Addison. Bro, what is this? I can't with this man. How many of those are here? Only two. Wait, there's a third one. Okay. Game plan. Game plan. Go. Come on. Link? Man, he picked the fat spot for this. Oh dear god, that is so unusual. Okay, it's all messed up. Hold on. I can't move. What's going on? Oh, 
game. That's not what I wanted, and you know it. You are an ordeal to deal with. That's just going to weigh it down more. Hey, Nadra. Hey, Zelda. You know, this is a fuck it and see what happens point. No way. That actually worked. I was positive that was a failure. All right. We take those. Alrighty then. Oh, Korok. This tree stomp. The tree stomp. Oh yeah, and I did what I said I'd do. Increase my bow stash and grab that Gerudo bow. So now I have both of the sniper bows at my disposal. Right, there was a cave up here. And a monster camp. Should check those out while I'm traveling this way. And I upgraded my shield stash while I was at it. So now I'm empty on Korok seeds again. I love the new dance. Korok camp. Okay, yeah, I got that one. So they just fuck off and leave the camp. Alright. Fort Hatano Cave. And I sold another batch of 100 bright bloom seeds. Since I was full again. Like, gross. probably recall their rocks, too. Eat me. Bitch. Oh. Okay, that was it. Ding, ding, ding. Actually, with that durability up. Oh. And yeah, it has good stealth attacks. You know what? I won't ditch Water Rod just yet. I'll give it some more chances to shine. And see if it's actually a useless piece of shit or not.
giant bright bloom seeds in particular have weird hitbox for grabbing them. Like, they're very fucky. No, yeah. smash. You know about also smash. Frog! Here, you little bastard. Da -da 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 -da. Monster bits and giblets. Hey, I'm out. I'll probably need a picture of you. <laughs> I like tea posing, Los Alphos. And speaking of, I wonder if there's a random tea posing Los Alphos still in Hebrew Highlands. Right, an enemy camp. It was these fucks. But also, yahaha. Ha. see it. Did I just blind it or did it not load in? It's still funny that you're just undoing the rock bowling from Breath of the Wild. Alright, nerds. Is that a level 4 captain? Rain makes stealth easier. Oh! Is an Octorok really shooting at us right now? Link, how do you miss? Okay. 
Okay, what do I want to break next? I've got a lot of spears. Con Captain Fourhorn. this? Ice Breath Horn? I have that, huh? Guess I was just out and got a new one. Well, I have an axe now. <laughs> that's a mighty, that's, that's a big one. connected to them. I could have just grabbed this and left. Oh well. Got some new compendium entries. You motherfucker. What do we got? What do we got? Whatever it is, I don't think this is gonna get me there. Absolutely not. Don't even see it yet. Yeah, this is. You know, I could just use this to travel to Hotano faster. Hebrew Mountain, where the spring of courage, wisdom is. Can't just fly to Hoth now. Screw the roads. Although there is the current quest at Fort Hoth now. Oh well, we can deal with it later. There. And flying is way better than walking. But seriously, it's been like t how many years since Breath of the Wild? Like, man, they haven't fixed up or repaired shit. There's so many things that have just been left untouched with zero cleaning done. Like, come on. People are just like, eh, Hyrule's gonna get fucked again in another few years anyway, probably. Screw it. It's not worth fixing. Yeah, ha ha! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did I pick up the horn and not realize? Because, yeah, the horn is always a guaranteed drop from pretty much every monster. That's... that's a bush. That's just a plant. I was like, what is that waiting to attack me on the road? That is nature. I mean, are monsters nature? Well, no, because they're shit out by demise. I don't know. Huh. Debatable. Okay, yeah. No, it still needs more support. That alone isn't enough. That is that definitely a part of the solution. Fuck it, let's try. There you go. Yeah. Mr. President is supported once again. Thank you. Didn't get a picture of a squirrel yet. Cute little bastard. Who? Octorok? Oh no! Choo choo! Identify yourself, suspicious guy. <laughs> That's me, suspicious. Huh? You were suspicious? You, you, you be. You're the first actually suspicious guy I've met. I could tell as soon as I saw you. Oh, but I'm not supposed to talk to the suspicious ones. My dad told me not to talk to any suspicious folks, and that means you. Huh? You're not suspicious after all? Then I'll give you the gatekeeper's greeting. Uh, how did it go again? You've come to Hatano Village, home of fine produce and dyed goods. Our vegetables are the best around, and we're at our forefronts of fashion. Did I say that right? My dad would have known. 
Too bad he's still at Lookout Landing. Who is this freak? Hey there, what brings you to town? Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask questions. She's still passing out eggs. Years later. You swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more, though. Just forget what happened here today. How could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg. Easily given, but still easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. What would she say? But it's all eaten up before you know it. The taste is heaven. <laughs> this isn't working. I was wondering whether it was possible to romanticize eggs. But in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast, and that's it. I should head back to work. The stores and barn are always open. Take it easy, stranger. Uh, really going with the mushroom theme now. Pumpkins on the menu, buy some at the general store. Hey, those aren't ready for the harvest yet. You want pumpkins, you can buy them like everyone else. They sell them at the general store by the village entrance. This is not going well. Be right there. Hang on just a sec. Oh, I was sure you were Mayor Reed coming to talk for a bit. Did all this fashion business bring you to town too? Before folks came to Hatano Village for the veggies, but now they show up for that gaudy get-up Sese makes. So which are you after? Fashion. Makes sense. Guess she is a world-famous designer or whatever. Go up the slope farther into the village. Sese's shop is the tacky one on the left as you enter the gates. Oh. Even my wife, Nikki, is gaga about her stuff. You see this hat I'm wearing? Nikki's the one who insisted I keep it on. Give me a light, though. Straw hat when it comes to work in the fields any day. Oh, but don't let the wife here I said so. She, uh thinks it looks good on me. Anyways, what you see here is me trying to come up with a new kind of veggie, but I haven't had much luck so far. Still, if I quit so soon, it'd be a pure excuse for a farmer, wouldn't I now? Hey. You again. Whether it's veggies or sesse, I'm glad people still make the trip out here. You came to town for CC, right? One of those fashion chasers? <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. Hot to know is it's veggies after all. I focus on growing pumpkins myself, but there's other fields and a couple of farms up the hill too. And I suppose nowadays we've got those weird sculptures to gawk at, too. Point is, there's plenty to check out around our village if you take the time to look. Oh. Anyway, what you hear is see me coming up with a new one. Oh. What are you here for? Neither. Oh. If you're not here for neither of those, then maybe you went to Hatano's famous dye shop by the bridge? Oh, but some folks came around looking for the research lab way atop the hill to the east, too. Oh. Anyway, what you see here is me- okay. Oh right, I forgot. Robbie. The shrine sensor. Buy these sweet, nutritious carrots at the general store. we has been lavishing these with care. You couldn't just take one. The hell I couldn't. Duh. Go right in. Yeah. Welcome to Hatano Village, here for the sightseeing. East Wind General Store is open for business. If you're here for Hatano Village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right place. Or if you like this super cute CC hat, Hi. you can hit the store across the way. Ventus Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to Cece, the village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists, our sales are going up too. Cece's putting our village on the map. Oops, there I go shilling for the clothes shop again. I can hear Dad now. Just whose business are you promoting out there? Yeah. Our little East Wind General Store carries all of Hatano Village's local specialties. Ever since CC set up shop in the place across the way, Hatano's made a name for itself with fresh fashion. For that, though, this was a farming community from way back. We're a self-sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Oh. I tell you what, you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hatano pasture. Head on up the pasture when you get a minute. You'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Oh. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got a business to run. Anywho, what are you saying? Something I can do for you? Mm. Oh, this CC made it. She set up shop in the place across the way. She left a long while back to practice her craft, but she perfected it and came back as a famous fashion designer. Now CC Fever is sweeping the village. You can't throw a rock without hitting someone wearing this hat. Uh. I don't know the first thing about fashion myself. My wife, Amira, cares more and more about that stuff. Oh. Anything else? What do you got? Ooh, what are you selling? Uh. Gotcha. Anything else? 
Ooh. The veggies out in the field aren't for sale. If you're in the market for produce, come see us. Oh. How many do you need? 36 rupees. Oh. Always a pleasure. That's a lot of tomatoes. As I said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? But I wanted to see CC's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. Mm. Yeah, everything I heard said this was some of CC's best work. Oh. I'm so, so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Mm. One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Mm. Hey, come on now. We can't let just one of us get a head start. <laughs> sure, I know that. It was just a joke. Oh well, maybe if we come back later, they'll have room for all of us. Huh? Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Ah. Ooh, or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I heard that a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Mm. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. Uh. Thank goodness they gave up, hmm? Oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister's, I mean, the new line of CC products? I was wondering, I was like, was it CC her name? No, Sophie. Because I'm like, I remember the armor shopkeeper here, the shy girl who could barely speak up and like stood in the corner creeping of the store. So she had a sister and she's this big wig. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. No. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. An exemplar of fun from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Hmm? Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? Hmm, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to Ventus Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware... No. You stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of Novo fashion. As proof, I present to you this. The CC hat to the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, CC. Gaudy as hell. Do you see that luxurious curve? Do you note the avant-garde, whatever, wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. My avant-garde color choices. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fast of Nista and Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. What's all this about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hatano. Uh -huh. Oh, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayo Reed? Um. I'm really sorry. I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Cece, you've got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night, they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hatano's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know. Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hatano wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh -huh. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hatano's rejuvenation? Hmm. 
It didn't need rejuvenating. Hatano Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Do they? Then let's leave this matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint, bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. No. My holding a mayoral election! You're calling for a mayoral election. Sure, suits me. I'll win that pretty easy. Oh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. Hey. Why? Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. Time we head back home. No time to waste. Oh, you again. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Oh. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... No. Oh, if you haven't yet thrown in your lot with either candidate, then... Welcome to Team CC! Oh. That settles that, I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Oh. Also, one would think, yet there are stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. No. And so... I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Ooh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. No. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop. Where will we find someone I can trust to carry out this vital task? I have to go. No. So eager to get started on my little errand already! You'll need these then! These mushrooms are for the village's Reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas dressed to the nines in CC. Uh -huh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. Uh -huh. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. Your mission is simple. Give a single Hylian shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go! What did you put in these mushrooms? Ooh. Highly set royal guard stuff. I wonder if she'll react to the royal guard set. If I had the full thing, but maybe she doesn't care about the hat? Who are Reed's voters? No. Fair question, don't hold the picture to start with. Heard those who work at the pasture here can little for fashion. Go and see about changing their minds. Uh. There's old man talk, who's retired. You'll find him taking a walk up the hill to the lab each and every morning. Uh. If he's not there, check outside the pasture. Uh. I told you what I know. Any unclear? Lost him. Oh. Come now, didn't I provide enough honey and mushrooms so that each of the village of the side's voters could get one? It's up to you to recoup any losses. If you need a hint, try scavenging around trees or buying them in shops. Uh. Got it all. The tackiest people are the ones who act as though they understand when they haven't a clue! Oh. Waste no time in opening their eyes for them. Uh. She sat on me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Oh. Sir, I feel like I should apologize for dragging you into this mess I found myself in. But since we're both involved now, can you give me a little advice? I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tail my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and get back to me. I've tried following her myself, but she spots me right away. I really got an earful, too. If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for this. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Help me, please. Cece's secret. Yeah. Hey. Look, Amira, someone who forgot to put on his CC brand outfit today. Mm. Get with the times and put on some CC brand clothes already. How else will anyone know your loyalty to CC style? Walk around the village looking like that if you want, but don't blame me when CC roasts your fashion senses. 
Cece set up her own Cece brand line. It proves what a fantastically avant-garde charismatic designer she is. Why Cece single-handedly set the tone for Hatano Village's whole look. Oh. Cece's shop is to the left of the village entrance. It's the stylish shop with the mushroom clothing decoration. If you're feeling plain, shabby, or drab, Cece has a core. Cure. Go ask her to coordinate your look today. Hatano's mayoral election is on. Reed, the incumbent mayor of Hatano Village, is running against Cece, darling of the fashion world. To settle whose vision for Hatano will win out, the two of them have agreed to hold an election. Details soon. Dude, is this fashionable enough for you? <laughs> oh, here's your fashion. Love's fire burns forever. What's the matter? You can tell me, weird, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places, sure. Things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the move on Miss Ivy. Wait, I mean, that, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Huh? You forgot the miss. Always add the miss. Miss Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just... Keep the naive, I just moved here and won't someone show me around act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. Uh, By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy at West Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice, and I'm gonna have a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. This is the same damn quest again, but now he's fawning for a new girl. All right. If you're interested in her specialty goods, go right away. What do you like? What do I like? Where did that come from? Um, hmm. Is it going to take the same path? She just makes up some bullshit to make you go away? Mm. Um, maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had a hundred hot-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. It's the same fucking quest, but this time it's frogs instead of crickets. Oops, couldn't think of anything else, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. Ha! <laughs> And he's going to be like, can you give me ten and I'll hunt the rest on my own? Oh. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but what were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a friend of a friend tipped me off. Oh. You went and asked what Miss Ivy likes? Right to her face. What's the idea? Uh-oh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. Alright then, so what is it? What does Miss Ivy want? Can't leave my friend's friend hanging. She wants hot-footed frogs, and a hundred of them at that. Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. Better play it smooth. Still, collecting a hundred hot-footed frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. Oh. But not if I had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you can find frogs. Don't even have to go far. Didn't I hear about a bunch of frogs in a well somewhere in this village? Maybe we should check it out later. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Look, let's focus on how helpful it would be if you gather ten of those frogs. Uh -huh. Hey, buddy, do I hear the faint croaks of little frogs? Specifically ten hot-footed frogs in that little pouch of yours? Froge delivery. One, two, three... <laughs> <laughs> ten frogs, all counted for. Allow me to take those off your hands. And as promised, here's your payment. Nice. Guess it's up to me to collect the rest. How I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss Ivy. That's why I, Manny, will check every well in sight. Uh-oh. Not coming back from that one. <laughs> you collected some hot-footed frogs for me. I collected a few more myself, and Miss Ivy will be swept right off her feet. Or so that friend's friend I was talking about said, I think. Either way, I owe you one. So, do you want something? Oh. I'm here on duty, checking out on Miss Ivy. Sorry, I mean keeping watch over the village entrance. Too busy for chat, sad to say. It's a wild world outside the village. Eh, what with the upheaval stuff going on, and even here, there's that election business. Oh. Yeah, some folks in the village are going ahead in preparations for the elections for next mayor. Things between CC and Reed got pretty heated, I guess. Not that I much care who's mayor around this place. Oh. Though here's a thought. What if I was mayor? I bet things would turn around for me, then yes sir. Well, need me for anything else? How come it's never a cute girl who comes to along to distract me from watch duty? Thanks to the CC brand, we see more people coming and going from the village. I'm just checking out the beauty- I mean, tourist. I mean, suspicious characters. Yeah, that's it. 
Although, now that you brought it up, Aeudes, no one holds a candle to Miss Ivy. And again, the princess of Hyrule Castle, who used to stay in the house to the south of the village, she was alright. Still didn't hold a candle to Miss Ivy, though. Oh, so Zelda stayed at Link's house a bunch. Oh my god, did they move in together? Patrol today, patrol tomorrow, too. Alright, let's take this silly thing off. Someday, a second store. <laughs> Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop! Right, so you're a new customer, I think? Oh, well, I don't do the dyeing around here. You want my hubby for that. All this activity is going to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to see see our shop's taken off like this. Every day is so exhausting now. Oh, they have a kid? Ah. Welcome. Are you a traveler? Ah. Oh, yeah? You got good taste if you wander here to Hatano Village. <laughs> our shop's all about style. Everyone who's interested in fashion comes here all the time. And we don't just dye clothes. We can do stuff with other fabrics, too. My dad can tell you all about it. He's got really good taste, so you'll recognize him as soon as you see him. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. You do you do. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to dye. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up to... Huh? Hoo-wee, that's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we do dye clothes, but we also offer a fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. You may be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folks like you. Ta-da, your very own introductory fabric. CC fabric, of course. <laughs> have you dropped by Finch's clothing at the village entrance yet? CC, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting-edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for it wherever you go. Think of me if you need some new fabric, won't you? You can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in style. <laughs> Dying clothes are reworking paragliders. Either way, 20 rupees. <laughs> Every day is a good day to die. Does it let me preview it and not spend the money? You're not a pigment of my imagination. You must be a customer. <laughs> First time reworking a paraglider, huh? Don't worry, I'll do the work. Just hand the fabric and leave the rest to me. Okay, so you can take a look. What do you have in mind today? I kind of like the Melania one. The Gora one's a bit cute. Any other request? All my services are 20 rupees. Now then, I can either dye your clothes or remove the dye from dye duds and return them to their original color. List of all the things you can use for the different colors. Donkey. I don't have the lanterns anymore. Yeah, Wharton could be so stubborn. He would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. Oh, he backed off because she got married. Would it be so hard for him to wear his simple CC brand hat? I don't understand why he's this dead set against it. Huh? Oh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now, not while I'm on the clock. <gasps> Good evening, you must be ready to relax for the night after a long journey. Hi. Welcome to Tanpu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? Regular bed is 20, more relaxing restorative mind and body experience. You can have our extra soft downy bed for 30 rupees. Wow. Yeah, they're much more comfortable to sleep in than our standard beds. You'll wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Everyone who sleeps on one talks about how they feel brimming with energy. Mom. Take care and visit again soon. Maybe the next time Wharton is leaning carelessly against the terrace, I'll catch him off guard and just jam a hat on his head. Hip. Hmm. 
sorry about that. You were a visitor here, a tourist. You caught me as I was eating my daily Hatano veggies. They're very nutritious. How else do you think I've lived this long? You're an Hatano, a village known for living off the land. For as long as anyone can remember, we've tilled the soil and let nature be our guide in life. Huh. Now, though, everyone's getting so glitzy as some folks try to drum up more tourism business. Mind you, we were all happy to see Cece return to the village after she'd been away so long. Some folks, like my daughter Prima, started wearing that flashy CC brand stuff right away in celebration. But it's a tad over the top for me and my son-in-law, Wharton. We prefer the simple life, the way we've always lived it. <gasps> but I don't mean to talk your ear off. By all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. So something you need from me, Traveler? No, eh? Funny, I could have sworn. I'll hold off on her stuff just yet. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around here, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fad dies down. Never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. You need something else? Something not related to the end? No? Nope. Feel free to stay at the end then if you like. Is that the adventurer guy who was always sitting out here in the previous game as well? He hooked up with the end keep? I guess he got really attached to this place. I mean, Hatano is a nice little place. New school. Dark. Wait, I spent my orbs, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Miss Zelda, please come back. I've been a good girl. Huh? Oh, you're the customer I saw at Ventus Clothing, aren't you? You know, from when they were talking about whether to go through with the mayoral election or not, it's becoming something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. I wish they'd clear the air between them and end this silly quarrel once and for all. But that's a moot point now. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the mayoral election starts. Mama. Oh, you don't mind letting me in here? I won't mince words. It's about my husband, Reed. That man of mine. He shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest what he's up to. When I ask, he just says it's a secret, and I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping. Plus, I think he'd catch me right away. But I get so worried when I think about whatever, whether whatever he's doing will affect his chances. Mm. I was fit to burst if I couldn't find someone to talk about this. Good thing you came along. I'd like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. I'll pay you, of course. Mm. The only problem I can see is that he keeps the place locked up tight. You'd never fit into the window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something? Well, you'll can figure it out. Read secret. Just no time. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at Ventus Clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh, yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But I don't, don't you worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against CC. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. Uh, way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouthfeel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. <laughs> if I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that could stand up to CC. Except, I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with or what they created. And now I think about it, it also had a unique pungent scent. If I could smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. Yeah. Also, excuse me. I have things I need to take care of. Please don't worry about my problems and just have a nice, relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make on the farm up the hill? Having a glass is a nice way to unwind before bed. A new signature food. Creamy and melty, and a pungent aroma. Is it choo-choo jelly? You want some jelly? No 
entry without permission. When does she leave her shop? There's a couple of wells around here. I should probably activate the damn shrine before doing anything. Either. Prioritize that. Ooh. Hello there. Always happy to see a traveler in Hatano Village. Were you one of those who came to see the new CC fashion line? Oh. Not the brag, but the mind behind it is my own daughter, CC. If you're looking for her, you'll probably find her at the clothing shop. I mean, boutique, over by the village entrance. Oh. Not sure what the difference is personally, but CC always gets upset when I call it a clothing shop. so late at night. I'm getting on in years, as you see. I need my full night's rest if I don't want to wake up tired tomorrow. And I've got an early start, so if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to sleep. Do you have something to say? No particular business to take care of, eh? That's fine, then. Just in case this does actually end up being a choice, I'm holding off. Shrine. Ugh. Scoop it out. The scooper. It sounds like something you'd get ice cream with. What the fuck is this? Seems simple enough. That's going to knock it off.
game. God damn it. Listen here, you little shit. like a champion. I am brilliant. Okay. Is the chest just gonna be mixed in with all the balls? I feel like that's totally what it's gonna be. I just have to, um, find it in this shit show. You know what? Fuck this shrine. I realized, do I care that much? A little bit. Importantly, how to know fast travel. What bloody time is it? Morning. Okay. Not doing stalking right now, then. sword. <laughs> Can't have my party members, huh? Because this is still technically count as a town. Good. 
good use of the Master Sword. Explore another way. What weapons would I destroy? All right, well, I've got this. That was my currently what I'm using. Shop armor general store. Cool. Wake up! Right, I established in the Royal Passage that spears can't cut shit. I'm about to say it's the same setup as that? No, because I can actually stand up here. So it's just interconnected tunnels under the whole town. I'll use the pounder.
Ether. Sure, a fast phrenic, phrenic bow. Did I ever take a picture of you? No, I didn't. Glad I thought of it. I'm like, actually, I don't remember if I ever, and I did not. Oi! I asked. Oh. I think this is where you go if you need keys parts. This is where I came in. You want to grab that? Hello? Please? Game? Function? <laughs> Give me that bomb flower. I need to find sticky frogs for the damn frog legs. Okay, no, that was a silver. I'm like, huh, I thought that was a silver I saw. Okay, it was a silver and a red. Oh, damn, he didn't drop it. stuff down here. Y'all drink from it? Those things probably shit in your water. <laughs> Hello, lizard friend. I mean in real life. There is a cute little gecko buddy here today. He's adorable. I love him. So do I just have to figure out where Reese's shed is. If I had the map, it would probably it would be pretty easy. Hello. Frog. Derg. Is that the well that I had marked on the map? Right, let's go check out Link's house. Mm. Gotta get to the bottom of all this before the mayoral election. So I was looking for someone like you to lend me an ear. It has to be done in the middle of the day when he's not in. What on earth is he doing in there? I'm not one to snoop, but it's so a little have to be you. I have to... Oh. Ah. 
She excuse herself. I have to clean Princess Zelda's house around midday. It's time to be. It's about to be that time. You're going home. Come to Terrytown in Aqua. We'll build it just the way you saw it in your dreams. Hudson Construction. Yeah, they, the statue's been completely moved. Oh, there's a Korok in there, no doubt. Is it not Link and Zelda's house? Did she fucking just take it over? Cornicate. A sign that says Link's castle is gone. She fixed it up nice. Aw. Her golden horse. But the weapon mounts are gone. Damn it! Okay, I was about to say, they better have that fucking picture there. Okay, I can still sleep here at least, so free healing. Zelda's journal. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild, and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hatano Village. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There's so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Pora's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of... quirky children. <laughs> I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hathano Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Zelda added a secret room to the house? Ooh. Work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. Done in the middle of the day while he's not in. I need to finish cleaning Zelda's house while it still lights out. <laughs> Do I have any ownership over this? Because, like, my name is on the deed, right? <laughs> Zelda's secret well. Well, it's not that fucking secret. You know what? I'll uh, check out this well first. <laughs> Just a standard hot footed frog. Well-worn hairband. Old, worn, simple. Its color has long faded, but it still has life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental of times past. Oh, wait. Is that... It's his ponytail band, isn't it? Yeah, his Breath of the Wild look. No defense. 
but I look good. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side, a kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've put in an order for a new and improved champion's tunic, just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. A new champion's tunic. It's hidden in the throne room of Hyrule Castle. The torches are the key. Okay, hello. Cute drawings that the kids did for her. Oi, get off my property! Oh, we got separated. He all the way at the top of the fucking mountain. Fuck off. Yeah, we'll just, um, we'll come back to that later. Can I just walk up there? Still, coming up later. Oh, my back. Oh, right, I was gonna grab that Korok. Anything there this time around? No. That's a bird. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Armored carp. Suspicious yet. I suppose I can't just steal these. Hey, I saw that! The only one besides me is allowed to pick my prize high in tomatoes is my daughter Aster. You want some, go to the general store and buy them like everyone else. God, where can I easily get sticky frogs, damn it. I forgot where any that I found were. Fry the tomatoes from my meta, find them at the general store. Huh? Need something from me? Oh, well, uh, alright then. S see ya. Please, uh... You're my friend now. Convenient well right next to it. Let's find out.
notes toward a new variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Huntano Village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms, but there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Knack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of mushroom. The color, shape, and appearance. I mean, new type of pumpkin, damn it! Appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folks. We've hit a snag, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. We learned a few things in the set. Reed's developing a new type of vegetable, trying to incorporate elements from CC's line. But his efforts haven't come to anything. Put Clavia's mind at ease. There's just no time. How goes it? Made any progress on that thing we talked about? You say he's developing a new type of pumpkin, so that's why he's been consulting with Knack so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Uh. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like why he went to vent his clothing. It's so obvious in hindsight. I'm sorry, that's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this for me. I promised you a reward, and I keep my promises. Mm. What a pair of two of them make, if they would just get along... Now I need to find out her dirty little secret. Which, I don't know, she strikes me as the type who actually is fishy. <laughs> my, my, we meet again. How goes your journey? Wonderfully, I hope. This is normally where I'd give you the chance to respond, but I'd like to talk about me instead. Once I was a woman without ambition. Sure, I had my twin loves of fashion and travel, but I didn't have drive. Uh, but Cece's design spoke to me. They said, Mishi, take these fascinations and turn them into action. Now I'm a changed woman chasing the treasures of another inspired fashionista, the great bandit Misko. And as I search for Misko's collection, I intend to spread the joy of fashion everywhere I go. Such is my passion. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. If you have any questions about the village, you should ask my papa. He's the mayor of this village. He should be at home right now. I'm headed there as well. Do you want to come with me? Hello, stranger. Would you like to come to my house? Cece had as a work of art. You see that luxurious curve, avant-garde colors, pinnacle of perfection, yada yada. I'm so far up my own ass. <laughs> All right, do what Link does best and break pottery. Hell yeah. Should put the stealth outfit back on. Right, it's down here. Even though I know the brightness doesn't affect it, but eh. <laughs>
doors unlocked? The thing is, do I confront her or do I just watch? Okay, it just plays a scene. Perfect! I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. Aww. How I enjoy my nightly vegetables! The shine, the luster, the fragrance! Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining! And so, without further ado, let us tuck in. Oh, so scrumptious. The crisp smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hatano Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour, here in private I must admit the simple, unadorned things are the best. There's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Now, like, are, are you stealing those? Yeah, I don't, I don't think those are just for chowing down. Learn anything? Sorry, I know it's a tall order. Really? The silo across the way. What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style, and has to do everything in the most astantious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hatano Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. But the truth is, she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. <laughs> At least, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything too scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. My sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same thing, you know? I can't understand why the two of them just don't work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. So from the sounds of it, this is probably going to end with them teaming up and working together. Alright, I guess I'll start handing out the damn shrooms. Fucking massive, mate. Oh, he's got the hat on. Mm -hmm. Still need something? Have a mushroom. What's this? Something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious from the looks of it. You know, people keep talking up this CC brand stuff, but it never really clicks with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Uh. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. Mighty nice of you. <laughs> Cuckoo girl. Wait, did she have the hat? I can't remember. I don't think she did. Hi again. It's afraid you were up to no good coming to the village at this hour. I'm cleaning up to take my mind off of things till morning comes. It is morning. First light, it'll be my son Tebow's turn to take over watch duty. He does the job more like my husband used to. Checking for suspicious people, guiding visitors around the village, that sort of thing. Did you still need something? Mushroom. You brought this from CC? Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own, too. I just like them, okay? But that's when they're food. When you make them fashion, you'll lose me. It wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. <sighs> the farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? Yeah. Oh. Fellow early riser! Ah. Sorry, how am I way to meet someone? If you need a tour guide, just ask someone else. Oh. 
You're up early. Early cuckoo gets the worm, they say. Ooh. Oops, pardon me. Say. Were well, you looking to do business inside the shop here? Ah. This is a boutique. Vengeance Clothing! Only store that carries CC brand clothes. Made by my own daughter, CC. Mm. Too bad they don't really make clothes in my size. What's a guy gotta do? Beg his own daughter to expand the line a little? Oh. Whole village is buzzing about the mayor ele election. Mm. My girl Cece looks to be in the lead, but Reed, the incumbent mayor, has done a lot for me over the years. Not sure how to feel about all this personally. Oh. Good morning. You headed out early. Mm. Seems like they're getting closer to holding that election for mayor. Cece is a popular choice of the youth, seems like. I suppose it's natural that things change with the times. It's up to me. I'd want Reed to keep doing it the way he's always done. Oh. Something you need from me, Mr. Traveler? Oh. You say this is from Cece. Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know? I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor if they'll fix up the village real nice. Isn't there an old fart in here? Or maybe that was him and he was walking out. Oh. Hey there. If you have in business, talk to my wife, yada yada. Keep my distance till this dies down. Oh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she is pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Yeah, that CC is all right in my book. I'm not the only one. Koya from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Hey. Good morning, traveler. Checking out the site? Same here. We came all this way, so we've got to squeeze in as much fun as we can. Today we're planning to visit the dye shop, look around the pasture, take a tour of the lab. Lots to see. I better go, or we won't get to everything before nightfall. Good morning, Traveler. You here on a sightseeing tour, so you know where we're going. Koji Dye Shop. They'll dye your clothes any color you like. Sounds like an unmissable experience for fashion lovers. Yeah. We meet again. How have you been? Wore anything good lately? If I told you I knew where to find some of Misko's fabled fashion items, would you be interested? I thought as much. Well, listen up. It said some of Misko's treasure is near Fort Hatano, hidden in a cave marked with stone statues. Uh. Hatano Village, famous for the CC brand, is where I open my eyes to the wonders of fashion. It's serendipity. I must find that cave. I will. On my order as a fashionista. Honor, I'll get to the bottom of this rumor. Hi. Good morning, traveler. Oh. Sorry, but can this wait? These are my best clothes. I really need to get somewhere dry. Puppy. Oh, visitor. Uh, sorry, I don't have an enemy to be very welcoming right now. Uh, I'll take care of it later, maybe by this afternoon. Uh, My hometown's Norland Village, a small fishing village along the shore southeast of here. It's been suffering constant pirate attacks. I've heard it's almost entirely destroyed. At least the villagers fled without any loss of life, or so they say. Uh, but what good is all that if their homes are destroyed? I'm afraid that the village is finished. My poor father. He was the head of Lorland Village. That village was his whole life. If it's really gone, I worry that the shock could finish him. Where I'm from, we believed in welcoming everyone with a smile. That's why I don't want anyone from home to see me so down. Secrets. Nope. <laughs> Smell that damp soil. Yeah. Hey there, fellow rain fan, are you? I love it outdoors in the rain. Makes the land smell so rich and alive. It's rare to see travelers out here. Unless, uh-oh. Uh. You haven't come to steal away my darling life, have you? <laughs> I'm just kidding you. No doubt you're here looking for the farm or the research lab. Oh, you're not on your way to the pasture up ahead? I know most folk here are obsessed with CC brand fashion right now. 
But the best thing about the village is and always will be the bounty of its farmlands. Have a bottle of our freshly squeezed milk and you'll know what I mean. If it, if you weren't headed there, maybe the research lab? So you weren't there, heading there. They started that place as a center to research ancient ruins. Now, though, I hear they're hard at work on some kind of padding, I think? Anyway, for a while the place was quiet, but now Robbie's back again. So the banging and clanging is as fierce as it ever was. Whatever this padding they're hard at work on is, my bet is it'll go down as one of the greatest inventions of the century. <laughs> Sorry, nothing comes between the two of us, not even you. I met my wife in Laurelin, to the south of here. She's the most beautiful woman in Hatano, maybe all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmills and shifts. Except, something bad is happening in her hometown, and she's been pretty broken up about it. She's at home now, resting. Oh. I picked this spot because you can see both the windmills and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come running at once. So are we done here? I don't want to take my eyes off the windmills or the house too long. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. You're a new face around here. If I'm any judge, welcome to Hot to No Pasture. <laughs> Nothing like morning air on a farm, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got something for me? Ooh. Is this from CC? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. Mm -hmm. But me and my daughter Koyan and Old Man Talk don't care much about clothes. What use is fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. Mm -hmm. You told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd have been in a tight spot, make no mistake. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in hot to know. The secret's in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Mm. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all themselves. Sometimes they'll drop the acorns they carry in your cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. Oh. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed, so it's a real problem for me. My daughter, Koyan, is always out staring into the pond, so I doubt she'd be any help gathering acorns. Hey. No fooling. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, not with me at my wit's end and all. Don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. Oh. I was keeping it squirreled away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right now, right away now that I got more acorns. <laughs> if you ever want more fresh milk, I'll swap you for three acorns. Call it a special trade just for you. Dances prize cows. He got more. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? There's no way. That's too deep to swim, right? What's that blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What's that you've got there? A mushroom. A smoothie. Ah. From Cece, huh? Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, I'll have to talk to my dad at the farm. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond quick. Mm. I finally found the letter my great-grandpa left, but can't reach for it. My arms are too short, pond's too deep to swim, and anyways, I don't know how. But the letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. A letter to Koyan. Told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to- Huh? Ah. This is my great-grandpa's message bottle! How did you- ah. Did you fish it out for me? Thanks! There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. Gosh, do I miss great-grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship is so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty. Mayor. Cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. Uh. 
Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run. I want to put great grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey. It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for the farm, but the whole village. Itching to get started. Is this what Reed was after? Two left. <laughs> Good, you've shown up. Take a look at this. <laughs> I call it hot to no cheese. That message my great grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. Aww. Back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. <laughs> anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. Cheese made from cow's milk. Add it to a warm dish and enjoy the rich flavor and melty texture. Yeah. As I understand it, Great Grandpa worked with the mayor back then on his hand no cheese to put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The people rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now is the time for Hot to Know Cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. Maybe here is good. No, I get better this way. Yeah, that'll work. <sighs> Ta-da! The Hot to Know Cheese shop is complete. What do you think? Next steps, get those folks over at the general store to start stocking it. That reminds me, you won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here, I'll give you some for fresh milk instead of rupees. Huh? I'll make the dream my great-grandpa gave up on become true, and this farm will be busier than ever in the bargain. <laughs> so, you'll come visit me again, right? Huh? Thanks to you, my grandpa's dream is of a uniquely hot-to-know cheese isn't lost. I'm really and truly grateful for that. Huh? This might sound out of the blue, but do you want some? I'd be fine giving you some if you want. And don't worry if you can't afford it. I accept milk as trade. For customers willing to trek directly to the pasture, it's the least I can do. Huh? Want to trade a single bottle for one hunk of cheese? Aww. Oh, you sure you don't want any of our rich, delicious cheese? I'm only a one-woman cheese-making operation, but stay as long as you like and buy to your heart's content. Mm. Leaving already? That's okay. Just be sure to visit again. Because you need the truck out here. You should treat yourself. Crazy. If you don't have money, I'll trade it for milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be sure to visit again. <laughs> Delivery, Reed. Wind's good again today. smelling things, or do I detect a certain unique, pungent aroma? This is it! This is just what I've been looking for! My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager! Hot and no cheese, of course! It makes sense my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koya not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. This is great news! It's a clear sign that we ought to make hot and no cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese, okay? Oh. Believe me, it's worth every rupee. Now then, I should get in touch with Koyan so we can start prepping for mass production. Unless well, the hot no village general store and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares too. Shouldn't take much more time that to tip the election my way. You should come out and watch it happen. The village mayor election has gotten closer than I'm comfortable with. But this hot no cheese is the perfect new signature food for the village. With this on my side, I can't lose. Thanks for helping me out so much with... Everything, really. <laughs> Ought to be my guest, and instead I end up asking you for favors. Sorry about that. But you were a huge help, thank you. If only that man could be more forthright. He takes everything so seriously that he sometimes doesn't know how to open up. Ma? No one knows him like me, so it's up to me to give him my support. 
Okay. What next? I suppose to the lab. Nothing escapes this spy. Well, hey, mister, are you what they call a traveler? Your weapon's really neat. Every wander has amazing gear, it's true. I love swords and bows and arrows and all that stuff. Wanna be my friend, mister? We're spies for Azum. He's a hero who protects our village. I'm, um, spy number one. My little sister, Nara, is spy number two. That makes you spy number three, mister. Oh, you're spy number three, huh? My brother Neb's spy number one, and I'm number two. A spy's job is to keep an eye out and report to the big-time hero, Azum, with surveillance about any bad people. But the lab on top of the hill to the east is too far, so I can't go there. kind of toss and roll you down. Or I could use this. What do you want with an old man like me? Say it's from Cece. Well, that's generous of her, thanks. What's this? That's a fine-looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately, CC's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. It makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy covers wherever I turn. My family and all my friends my age tend to like take life slower than she does. Uh. Still, all in all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. Oi. Yes? Well, you see an old man out walking and assume he's got nothing but free time? I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of my cuckoos that Tamina left in my care is a big part of my day. Thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over at Lookout Landing. Every day I take the cuckoos on a walk up the hill to the laboratory. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I gotta climb the mountain if I want the map here. Ah, right, that shitty spear. <laughs> the Hatano Tech Lab. Well, there's this thing, so there might still be a way to activate it. Welcome! Ah, what a fine afternoon! Hey, you! The poor pad laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see the poor pad. It will only take a moment. Oh. One and a two and a three and a four. Oh. Dunzo! Now this sensor will make a sound if there are any shrines near you. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? Oh, it's not as ear grating anymore. Mighty, tiny version of the ancient oven. Where are you going? I need you to finish testing your new sensor. Come back here, would you? We're still testing it, so hold off on rushing about. Just walk in the direction you're moving when you hear it react. What's the problem? You need help with it? Start responding. 
It's not responding, try moving in another direction. It seemed to go off more when you were pointed towards the section of the slope outside. Oh, what's this? <clears throat> the sensor I installed on your Pura pads reacted to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? There must be, because my creations are perfect. Unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check down the slope in the direction the sensor was indicating? Some forest cave. Hello, hello. Maya Hesic Shrine. It's just a freebie. I'll take it. The magic scepter. It's got the icon, so yeah. He'll activate it and I will be able to go up there, but sadly, not so much for the Aqua Laboratory. Because the Yiga have torn it too much apart. Shrine? My design of the sensors beyond perfection. Just listen to its sounds and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. You found it! I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, about the sensor? Handy, huh? I'd expect nothing less from me! Well, I've told you what you need to know about the sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear, one out the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct. I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go. The operation instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster. <laughs> now you begin to see the true potential of the Pora Pad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features. I can get them on your Pora Pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. 
Let's talk if you want that upgrade. If you want those upgrades, enjoy that sensor. A taste of great things to come. Until then. Hey. We've got more work to do. Your poor pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The poor pad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. There's also Hero's Path Mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your poor pad will be perfect once you've installed all of those. First, I need you to gather some test data so I can fine-tune my prototypes. So let's get to work on that pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. Travel medallion feature is quite exceptional. Let's you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're going to have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your poor pad for a moment. Oh. Look here, in distant Arkala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Arkala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. I'd go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch the travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Where was that again? Ha! Here it is, here it is. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. I'll need you to make your way to the Oculate Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype at a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. About that. <laughs> what? Then you already have it! Good job, that will do the trick. Come on, hurry up, let me see your poor pad. Right. Give me just a moment. The Travel Medallion. Ta da 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 da! I added that to your key items. You'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. And at any time, you can just sit right there by selecting it on your map. Easy, right? I wonder what I can do if I had even more data, however. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, and it hit maximum capacity. So I can create a link between the pad and a second location. But for that, I'd need about 10 map data locations. <laughs> Which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a moment. Okay, details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go. Operation instructions for the travel medallion. Now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want. Just read the poster. <laughs> so, what do you want to add? Excellent. Very good thinking being curious about this feature. It allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines. Many more things. That's why it's the sensor plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill out your compendium with at least five types of monsters. Oh, buddy. Good news. Unbelievable! You've got all that data! Then I can install the sensor upgrade right away! Let me have the poor pad for a moment. Give me just a moment. ta da da da, -da. You can now search for more than shrines. Just select whatever you want to find from the compendium. Actually, I have a compendium of my own. That's my compendium database. It's got detail everything you could possibly want to find details about. Oh yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, even different kinds of treasures. In a short, a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule compendium on the Pora pad. Curious? I invite you to access the database and see for yourself. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for this feature. Hang on a minute. Okay, and very good. There you go. Operations for the Sensor Plus. Now you can review it whenever you want. Also, though you can use the Sensor Plus feature now, your poor pad is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. So what do you want? Hero's Path Mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there's a tracking feature installed on the poor pad. Hero's Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. 
Before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. Wow. How soon was I supposed to come here? What? You've got the data? H hurry up and let me see that poor pad. Now give me just a moment. Now you can see the path you've traveled so far on your map. <laughs> Stuff that should have been in the base game of Breath of the Wild. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions. Hang on. Yada yada, got it. Alright, operation manual there. Now you can review whenever you want. Though you can use Hero's Path Mode, your pad is not yet perfect. <laughs> what? You've got the data. Hurry up and let me see that pad. These are the map data locations. Did he just need, like, the towers? Ta -da 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 -da! I added an extra one to your key items. Given the maximum capacity, I could add one more of those. I create a link between the pad and the third location, but I need 15 map data locations. We'll walk in the park for you. Your poor pad will grow to the fullest. Be able to instantly feature that. Use it on the spot. So in your key items, see the travel gates. Currently have two. Increase it. Need 15 map data. Registered at the sky. T okay, yeah. <laughs> You're leaving already? Well, keep in mind your poor pad can truly be perfect. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, from the looks of it, there's like a Yiga base around here, huh? Oh my god. Oh dear lord, it's a bit of a mess. You can see, there's just so many straight lines to the light routes. And you get to the fucking dungeon. Oh man. What? No, no, stop. Oh, no, no. The one by the force, what I'm thinking about. Wait, they have a bait. Is that the Colosseum? No, that's Great Plateau. Okay. No, no. They have one up by the forest. Somewhere around here. Okay, you're still here. Good. Cool. You get multiple in this game as well. Please don't freeze my ass. I should get the snow quilt tunic so I can put on the Zant helmet and these boots that have a chest piece. So that I can have cold protection and freeze protection. you to farm your spikes. Damn. Alright, well. Got the claw. I guess now let's climb the mountain and get to the spring. And of course, activate that tower for the map. She flies a lot closer to the village now. Alright, this mountain's fucking massive. Wonder if I can still get the snow boots and sand boots. I would guess that all of the um, original gear is still in the game. 
Just get all the fun stuff and now more. Shrine of Light nearby. Also, Ice Light, I need your stones. Oh, right, you do that first. Ow. Nice one, Toolin. Fuck him up. No, 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 no. Okay, that's just fruit. Still useful, though. Weak. Okay, it didn't roll too far. Hello, hello. I'm gonna be a bit of a climb back up. Oh, Luffy. Oh, it's not here anymore. figured the cave would be here, where there was a cave with a shrine in it in Breath of the Wild. Jekai's Shrine. Do-do-do. <laughs> Jailbreak. Climb these. There's the chest. Let's see, I gotta jump into that. Not too far off. Can't have my weight tipping it over. Uh-oh. I have made a grave error. Never mind. Okay, well, the name makes sense now. Power upgrade to the demon bow. <sighs> it's not that late. 
Stop being such a yawny bitch. Ooh, me skill markers. Oh. For a second, I thought it was like some kind of skeleton centipede. I was like, what the fuck is that? More ice likes. Oh, God. My... Oh, my. Ugh. Fuck. I gotta get like a pillow for my ass or something. Especially if I'm just gonna be playing this for the rest of my fucking life. attack, because, yeah, I don't need level 2 in here. Toast it tastes better than when eaten raw. Restores health. Fuck it, lot. Ow! What the holy fuck? Bro. Cheeks. <laughs> Whew. Neatly tied strap contains arcane power. Go. Not dealing with your shenanigans. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ. treasure in this one. Oh hey, this works to keep you warm. And melt stuff. Yep. Jesus. I'm already filled up again. Goes a while, huh? Oh, it's you dicks. <laughs> Misco treasure. 38 with a durability up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but I'm having nothing but metal stuff now. So yeah, hang on to the, um... Oh, no, I have the... Right, Demon's King's bow counts as, um, it's not metal or wood. It plays the part of the construct shit. snacks on the fuck list. Right, dude. Say go up the whole mountain, bro. Oh, shit! I didn't realize you were down here. 
Wow, fuck you. Take it back. Poking continues. Ah, oh, motherfucker, so many of them. And there's this big ice like, which again, I do need the ice stones. Oh, there's the shrine. Altar. Whatever you want to call it. It's kind of a shrine. Now, nope. there you are. The ice like was like a guide. Barbarian piece. in this one? Anything. I don't see anything in it. Oh, there was a chest. Okay, anything else in this cave? strong. 31, huh? Kind of long as well, huh? Oh, those are long. Now, 
And I'm starting to see silver bokoblins kind of everywhere. Oh, it just replaces the blade. Oh, it's floppy. It's like a Moogle scimitar. Oh, I don't know where anything in those went, if there was anything. journey. I hate that it's dangly. Okay. Before I wrap up, right, the throne room. Torches. What that damn tunic? probably gonna hurt. <laughs> I forgot how low my health was. Right, I kind of ate shit, didn't I? That silver boss, uh, who Nelly? supposed to be a surprise. I mean, he was wearing that in the intro, wasn't he? Garment worn by those in good standing with Ohio royalty has been reworked with the latest improvements, such as a new shoulder guard. <laughs> Fuck yeah, though. And yeah, if it's like Breath of the Wild, this will be the strongest piece of body gear in the game. <laughs> Does it still show enemy health? You're thinking, but you can already see enemy health, like I did when getting the tunic in Breath of the Wild. What it does is it puts actual numbers instead of just the bars. Yeah, when I got in Breath of the Wild, I was like, but that's pointless. I can already see enemy health. No. I mean, to him blowing the horn and to my question. All right, and let's go turn in the Terrytown side quest. Wow, wow. 
there before? Is that part of the new track? Right, I completely forgot about that lady. So yeah, I'm gonna build new stuff here. Oh, right. What I'm saying is they look like this. Ugh, I can't picture it. How about this picture? Exactly, it's the Horblin! <laughs> yeah, let me just go with a standard one. <laughs> Alright, just leave it to me. I'll have it made, son and done. <laughs> Quick and quality, like it were done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Ham on that thing. Sun and Dunn as promised. <laughs> Why does lots of sculpture it's more impressive than I dream possible? Uh. Yeah, it was nothing. Now would you find the most perfect spot on this on the stage over there, please? Uh. Nope. What? Uh. Pretty sure I said I can't be responsible for that sort of thing. Too big a decision, too much responsibility, hard pass. Uh. Only someone would move it and place it in a pleasing spot. Very good figure. Oh god, he doesn't fit. Cave monsters. <laughs> Be sure I said no. Looks so natural there and so realistic too, as if we stumbled on a monster's lair. Exactly what I was hoping for. Uh. Even I could swear I see the wind ruffling its coat. <laughs> now we have put it in front of every face in the village. <laughs> Building up the monster museum. Here you here, you come look and see. I present to you a new species of monster called the Horriblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a new species. <laughs> um, the sight has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Once again, this monster is the lovable Horriblin. This new monster was discovered in caves created by the upheaval. <laughs> and what stylish monster it is. See how its colorful hair sprouts from its tough skin. You feel the urge to reach out and ruffle its locks, don't you? Yes, I feel that very sweet feeling so very much. Yet it might be best to keep your hands to yourself. If you want to keep your hands at all, that is. <laughs> it is rather stylish. <laughs> Look and learn, then you won't hate. Understand what you fear and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always wait. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Again, I find myself in your debt. Please allow a gift to show my gratitude. Oh, oh. Did that say 30 fucking minutes? This dish is a specialty of mine. I hope your mouth enjoys it. Homemade seasoning I gave you last time gives it its secret flavor. Since you're here, I'll give you another bottle. 
You may wonder what you could use to have such thing, but I promise it's quite handy. For so long, I've dreamed of collecting these sculptures and showing the world how wonderful monsters <laughs> truly are. Now the dream's got me true all because of you. Thank you. Thank you so many times again. Uh. Kilton, would it be all right if I made more sculptures? For you, I mean. Been a while since I've been this excited about making stuff. Hi, <laughs> those are the exact words I wanted to fall into my ears. Yes, thank you, thank you, yes. No, it would help if you got better at, you know, describing them. Or well, maybe somebody will just bring us another picture. Oh. Yeah, it would be a big help if somebody brought us a picture. It's not too much to ask. It would mean a lot if I could see a picture of Madison in Gerudo Town. Hmm. Uh, never mind me. I should probably try to focus on work. Hmm. Thanks to you, we keep bringing these wonderful sculptures to life by Delight's Extreme. Oh. Gotta admit, I'm feeling pretty inspired. If you have any other monster pictures, show them to me. I'll make all sorts of sculptures. <laughs> The grin is sure to grow between my ears. If I have any monster pictures, Hudson can use to make them with sculptures. You'll hear my request? In that case, a sculpture of a battle talus is what is liable than anything. You see, a battle talus is a monster, but it's also a house. Or maybe it's a fort? Mm, well, certainly a busybody. The truth is, that is, it allows its friend to run about willy nilly on its large body. But a detailed picture of a battle talus or some other monster, I can make a sculpture. Uh, what about these other ones I've taken? The bosses? Ooh. The boy. <laughs> what artist taste? Could I borrow a picture? Oh. Right, get it built before you say sun and done. Mm -hmm. Quick and quality, blinking you're done. That's why every sun chooses how to construction. <laughs> nah. Son and done is promised. <laughs> Call the old round. Must be put up on display. Uh, Hope I can add a battle's talus to the collection as well. Lizard boy. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. <laughs> son done is promised. Look at that magnificent work. Must be put on display. Oh, but when do I get a battle palace? <laughs> Damn, is he gonna make them of everything? <laughs> Jesus, dude! Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I had kept all of my enemy pictures now. <laughs> Holy crap, Hudson! <laughs> you a masterpiece! My mind is boggled! Where do we put it? Man, if there was like something I could hang it on. laugh at me.
Okay, not the Death Mountain thing. They go into the monster section of the bestiary. The dragons don't count. To be expected. Alright, Goma statue. Besides the one he specifically asks for, can I just put these anywhere in town, not just on the stage? Guys, it's like the Wind Waker pictograph figure quest all over again. Yeah, man, I won't be able to put these any fucking where. Can't make anything of the workbench isn't cleared up. I guess it'll be the same exact one, or if it'll... If he just makes the standard model of that monster type. There's the million rupee question. No, he made it a silver one! Oh, he's a fucking unit! Well then, how would you like a silver horribly? Peeking out like a creeper. So what about this monstrosity? Icon now. Hold on. Does he put them 
in the exact same pose that they are in for the picture. Dude, holy shit. That's, um... Yeah, not the exact weapon, but a great sword. Wow, what the fuck? That's impressive. <laughs> Put Phantom Ganon riding on one of the bosses. Let's see, get a good look at the model. Yeah, it's just the fucking mummy. Freaky bastard. Good lord. So, am I limited to just the stage, or can I just, like, fucking put them all over town? Oh, man, I might have too much fun with the monster decorations. If I can get that free with them. Okay, this has gone on long enough. That does it for this episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Until next time, everybody, you'll have a great evening, and take care of yourselves. Good night, and make sure to get it sun and done.